From the ruins of the former settlements of the Inca and Tiahuanaco cultures on Lake Titicaca, the Cayahuaya priests worship Tata Inti, the sun god. At dawn, to bring good luck, they burn amulets and lama fetuses, and the smoke rises carrying the invocation to Viracocha, who created the world from this island of the sun. This enigmatic god ordered men to go forth and multiply. He then disappeared into the west and was never seen again. According to the eminent archaeologist Federico Kaufmann Doig, the figure worshipped at the Gate of the Sun in Tiahuanaco represents Viracocha, the creator of the Andean world, which is surrounded by mythical beings with condor like heads. The colossal monoliths in Tiahuanaco seem to want to speak to us of the secrets which this mysterious culture of Titicaca still hides. Some writers have even described them as gods from other planets and have come up with elaborate theories. What is certainly true, however, is that these stone sculptures continue to astound even the most distinguished archaeologists and specialists. The Tiahuanaco culture appeared around the 4th century AD on the Bolivian Plateau, just a few kilometers from the shores of Lake Titicaca. From there it spread south, where it merged with the Huari, heirs to a different tradition, the Paracas Nazca culture. Titicaca is the largest lake in South America and one of the highest in the world. It lies at 3,820 meters above sea level, covers 9,000 square kilometers, is about 230 kilometers long by almost 100 wide and has a maximum depth of 457 meters. The Tiahuanaco culture went through a number of different phases. The early phase, the classical age, and the post-Tiahuanaco culture. It was a society profoundly marked by its religious beliefs. The inhabitants of the Island of the Sun to this day retain reminders of this religion in the liturgy of their rituals. Before undertaking any action, they call upon their gods, especially Pachamama, the Earth Goddess. On the islands of the Sun and Moon, we find numerous ruins of Tiahuanaco origin and which were later occupied by the Incas. These are sacred places for the peoples of the Andes. All around, their offerings can be seen in the shape of piles of stones looking towards the snow-capped peaks believed to be the home of the gods. The ancient mystical observatories are still used by the shaman in their ceremonies of invocation and meditation.
The monumental city of Tiahuanaco was built during the Classical Age. The famous Barbado or Contiki monolith presides over the semi-subterranean temple. Were the builders of this colossal city gods or giants? The transport of the enormous stones and the manner in which they are expertly fitted together have given rise to numerous theories, but none of these is universally accepted and Tiahuanaco remains an enigma.